here we are with the finished Avro. I'm going to point out a couple of details I put on that weren't in the kit. Uh, the first thing was a little wind generator right there made out of pulled plastic sprue and a little paper propeller. These two fillers, one in the front and one in the back, were added. Uh, as were those two little curly um, wires. I don't know what they're for, but they were in the pictures I had. Also on the top of the tank up there, you see a little filler or a little um, curved piece of wire. I think it's a vent. Those are pitot tube wires that go up into the wing. And then on this picture, you can see the pitot tube I added um, on the left there. Uh, down here, I wanted to show you, um, I did make my little wheel tire, wheel pieces a little bit bigger in diameter to make the tires a smaller. I think it just looks better. And then I'll point out a couple of things like to remind people of the little pulleys, all little details that really make this model nice. Uh, these answer kits are very good and the fit was pretty wonderful. My biggest gaffe was right here on the trailing edge. You can see I painted it, but I misfolded that lower wing. Uh, it wasn't the kit's fault, it was mine. Really a uh, really nice kit. If you can find it, pick it up. Crikey, I'm looking forward to today. Up diddly up, down diddly down. Whoops, poop, twiddly dee. <laughs> Decent scrap with a fiendish red baron, bit of a jolly old crash landing behind enemy lines. Capture, torture, escape, and then back home in time for tea and medals. The beginning of five long months of very clever, very dull men looking at machinery. Hey, girls, look at my machinery! <laughs> And that's the type of guy who's doing the training around here. Sit down. All right, men, let's do it. <laughs> right, well, I'll see you in ten minutes for takeoff. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> what about the months of training? Hey, wet pants, this isn't the Women's Auxiliary Balloon Corps. You're in the 20 minutes now. Uh, sir? Yes, sir. Pratt at the back. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd all be intrigued to know why are you called the 20 minutes. Oh, Mr. Thicker, imagine not knowing that. <laughs> well, it's simple. The average life expectancy for a new pilot is 20 minutes. Ah. Life expectancy <laughs> of 20 minutes. That's right. So, we take off in 10 minutes. We're in the air for 20 minutes. <laughs> which means we should be dead by 25 to 10. <laughs> Harry Blighter, sir, this is a bit of a turn up for the plus fours. You shouldn't worry about it too much, back in Flying's all about navigation. As long as you've got a good navigator, I'm sure you'll be fine. 